this video, we'll learn how to set up Ethernet connectivity with the SCADA Pack X70. A SCADA Pack is a smart microprocessor based telemetry and control device that can help to remotely monitor and control physical objects. For example, in a water management environment, a SCADA Pack can be used to monitor and control the valves on flow monitoring devices at pumping stations. The SCADA Pack's 1 millisecond sequence of event monitoring capability is well suited to telemetry applications that require high speed timestamping and data capture. A SCADA Pack combines the power of a programmable automation controller with the versatility of a remote terminal unit. A SCADA Pack is a platform that increases performance, adheres to open standards, and can operate in harsh remote environments. Connect the SCADA Pack X70 Ethernet controller port 1 to your PC using a standard Ethernet cable. Ethernet port 1 is the RJ45 port on the top right of the SCADA Pack. The default IP address of a Scatterpack X70 is 172.16.1.200. So assuming you are using the factory default Scatterpack, you will need to set your computer's IP to be inside the same range. To open a command prompt in Windows 7 or higher, click the Windows Start menu, type CMD and press the Enter key. Now type PING 172.16.1.200 and hit the Enter key to verify that you have communications with the Scatterpack X70. From the Network View tab, select the Scatterpack X70 Settings Controller DTM. From the Network View options, click the Online button. The online option attempts to establish communication with the SCADAPAC X70 using an Ethernet connection. A successful connection changes the font style to bold. Click refresh and see that some important fields are updated. The SCADAPAC type. The serial number. This is the same as the CPU ID. The firmware version, for example, to see if your firmware is up to date. The DC power input voltage the memory battery voltage, the temperature, the uptime, or to see how long the SCADA pack has been running, the system status code. For more detailed explanations, please consult the help files. Device system and local time to ascertain the UTC offset. And there are some other diagnostic fields available here as well.